How long does a furnace and air conditioner last? Well, the averages are very different based upon maintenance. So let's take a furnace that has not been maintained. The national average for a furnace that has not been maintained is gonna be nine years. For an air conditioner, it's gonna be eight years. Well, if it's had proper annual maintenance year by year, the national average goes all the way up to 24 years if it's been maintained each year through its life. On a furnace, it's 24 years, and on an air conditioner, it's about 22 years national average. So systems sometimes get proper maintenance and other times do not. So the overall national average is 15 years on a furnace and 13 years on an air conditioner. That's how long you could expect it to last. Obviously, how much maintenance you do on the system and how well that maintenance is performed can greatly impact the life of the system. Dirt and grime is one of the biggest factors in the breakdown of a system. So when we look at doing a thorough system rejuvenation on a unit, for the furnace, we're taking out the burners, we're cleaning those, we're actually adjusting gas pressures because that can determine um, what level of energy uh, and gas that your system is using, having it set at the appropriate gas pressure. Take your blower wheel for instance. One sixteenth of dirt on that blower wheel can actually cause that thing to consume 25% more energy. So of course we want to look at cleaning that and cleaning the components around there. Uh, a plugged and dirty evaporator coil can cause the uh, air conditioner to actually work twice as hard. Not only can it will it do that, but it can also cause your heat exchanger to overheat in the winter when those components are plugged with dirt. And so it's kind of like taking a paper clip. If you take a paper clip and bend it back and forth, it gets hot after a while and then it eventually breaks. Well, your heat exchanger is the heart of the system. And when that heat exchanger is getting hot and cold and hot and cold, if it's not getting the proper airflow across it, it'll actually crack. And that heat exchanger is what prevents the carbon monoxide from getting into your home. It's where the heat transfer takes place. So there's a lot of factors and a lot of considerations when properly bringing a system up to factory fresh condition. Your outdoor coils, when those start to get even a minute layer of dirt and dust on them, the system efficiency continues to drop. And you, sometimes you see those air conditioners that are just completely plugged with grass clippings and cotton wood and things like that. The concern on cleaning those as a homeowner is you wanna make certain that all electricity is disconnected to the system because electricity and water do not mix. So uh, if you were to undergo that venture yourself, you'd want to make sure that you knew what you're doing in regards to the electricity. So having refrigerant levels at the proper levels will determine the efficiency and output of the system. And just a, just a couple ounces off on refrigerant can cause that system to use 25 to 30% more electricity than what it's supposed to to cool the home. So a lot of moving pieces, a lot of parts. Most important, keeping those parts clean and working without corrosion and without over-amping. So a lot of things to be considered on a tune-up.